He's saying the engine has overheated, but now he's okay. Welcome to a new trail running season. Can you guess where I am? We are here in the main square of Tigama. Welcome to the first stop of the Golden Trail World Series. Last year's race in Tigama was dominated by a pair of athletes. In the men's, Switzerland's Remy Bonnet began the season strongly. After winning the vertical kilometer on the Friday, he went on to take his first Tigama title on the Sunday. Set up for a great season, a serious injury before the Mont Blanc Marathon put paid to Bonnet's hopes of a competitive year, and he was forced to drop out of the 2018 Tour. In the women's race at Zagama, Sweden's Eden Nielsen began her year with another impressive win, showing she had the ability to race at the top level alongside the likes of Ruth Croft. She then proved herself over a full year of competition, finishing second in the 2018 series overall. Zagama is probably the most popular race on the circuit, with a wild atmosphere like no other. It's a place where the crowd meets the mud and where anything can happen, which is why they say Zagama is Zagama. Basque country is proudly perched on the North Atlantic coast, near the French border. This fabled region, known locally as Euskadi, has its own language and traditions in a distinctive geographic and cultural landscape. It's a place that demands exploration beyond the cosmopolitan cities of Bilbao, Gastes and Donosti with cuisine regarded by many to be one of the best in the world. Cooking focuses on fresh, local products. It's a place where mountain peaks reach for the sky and sublime rocky coves are battered by mighty Atlantic swells. So the runners are just relaxing, stretching, eating, sleeping and just enjoying the last few minutes of quiet before the storm. It's just an amazing experience in itself, um, the Basque Country, the people, um, it's an honor to be here. Nothing could ever ruin what I'm This year, I know there's a lot of mud on the course. Maybe with a few days or even a week of hot southerly winds, it could dry up. But after a couple of days of good weather, like today at 20 degrees, it won't dry out at all. You might know Tigama because of the ambience, because of the crowd, because of all the spectators. But do you always know the technical specifications? Here they are. The words Zagama, Sancti Spiritu and Ice Curry are just words to the average person. But to a trail runner, they mean mythical places and impossible feats. The course starts in Zagama. As the runners head out of the village, they take a non-technical track for almost 10 kilometers. 
an opportunity for the fastest to grab an advantage before the ascent to the Arat's Peak. After this, the runners face a gentle hill that takes them through to San Adrian's cave, before they finally encounter the classic ascent of Sancti Spiritu with its legendary crowds. It's also here where the trail narrows to a long and steep crest, connecting Aizkiri to the highest peak of the trail, Aizuri Peak. From this point, the nature of the race changes, speeding up as the runners descend to the other side of the valley through a flat grass section at kilometre 25. After this, they climb to the Andreats Peak, before a long downhill through the forest all the way to Zagama, where the fastest way to get to the finish line could be to slide through the mud. As you can see, the level of the photographer is really high, so can you imagine the level of the runners? Morning from the Gamma. Now we are waking up the athletes. Let's go. Hello. Wake me up before you go go. <laughs> hey, good luck, bro. Yeah. We know that you love the camera. She's naked. She, ah, okay. She's actually naked. Okay. At 9am in Zagama, with the race about to start, the temperature is already 20 degrees. At the highest peak, it's 10 degrees cooler, but it's going to be a hot day for sure in a race that puts huge technical demands on the runners. Bienvenidos a Cegama, bienvenidos al espectáculo. Esta es la primera de las pruebas de la Golden Trail World Series. In the early stages, Oyer Arinabureta takes the pace out hard. My strategy tomorrow is very clear. I'm going to start at full gas and do the lap around the village as fast as I can. I'll get to Sancti Spiritu and from there just see what I've got left. Well, the start was crazy. Like It was uh, Oyer from Basque Country, uh, Nandi from US and they were pushing like crazy, like the first uphill, you were just like if, if it was a vertical kilometer. I have a really strong road running and track running background, so a lot of people coming from a trail background will have more endurance, I have more speed, so usually I find myself way out in front and then as the race plays out and the train gets more difficult, everyone catches up, so from there it becomes a real race.
This is my going to be my fifth time as a Gama, and I've learned to just not have very many expectations because something for me at this race always seems to go wrong. Yeah, I've never tried this before, so well, don't feel any pressure at all, and that's uh, the good thing because in Norway, in every race, I feel a big pressure. Well, I mean, I think what happens if you if you do have a race that always seems to kind of throw something at you, you almost want it more. Yeah, it's nice to uh, go to races where you know it will be a high level, a uh, lot of good runners. The Swedish here, uh, Norwegians, Americans, English, and then all the Europeans, South Africans, that's fantastic. Remy was coming at the beginning and we were talking like that's crazy, like uh, I don't know how far we can go at this pace. You know the abilities of the runners on the start line. You know when somebody starts too fast and won't be able to keep up the pace. You need to use your intelligence early on and if you see somebody start fast, you know you don't have to follow them and that you can save energy for the finish. But if you feel good and want to fight for the podium positions, you have to stay with the group. I always struggle to start fast, so this time I will save energy for the late stages of the race. I normally set the pace because I'm comfortable going uphill, but I know someone will come and destroy that pace later, and speaking for myself at least, I'm not going to follow them. After the relentless early pace, Oyer and Andy Wacker have to slow, allowing Killian Jornet into the lead. While in the women's race, a surprise leader, Eliane Vergsdal, has Elie Sadisco and Amadine Ferrato fighting for second. So we are approaching the heart of Tsigama. So we are in Santo Spirito at about kilometer 20. And uh, you can already hear the spectators. It's going to become super crazy. And the special thing this year is that it's not raining, it's not muddy, it's super dusty. Yeah? And maybe this is a new course record, we will see. As he leads into San Adrian's cave, Killian Jornet pounds the downhill in pursuit of that course record. So the runners will approach really, really soon, but now it's time for the advertisement. So see you in a minute, here. First half of Zagama Ice Curry, Killian Jone has moved into the lead, while Thibaut Baronian and Poland's Bartolome run side by side. In the women's race, Elians Vergsdal leads the way with two runners close behind in Elisa Desco and Amadine Ferrato. Halfway through the race now, and we're about to see the most anticipated moment for every runner. The weather is as good as it gets, the ground is dry, and the crowds are out in force. Could it be a year for new records? Or is it uh, like uh, ah oh, that hill. hill, the hill with a lot of with all the pictures? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Five 
points go for Andy Wacker. And then OEL from Bus Country, third. And all super packs. And this is Bin from Nepal. Hello! cheering you on it's such an amazing experience you like you almost want to cry oh. yeah like it's really hard not to I think cool. <laughs> you can't see the track because there are a lot lot of people and the people choose where you go you can't hear anything you can't feel your breath it's like being on another planet and just five minutes later you find yourself in such a peaceful place with no sound at all it's such a big contrast it's very memorable I prefer the mud, definitely, and definitely here. Well, I'm from Norway, so I prefer the cold. I like the sun, but only on the beach. For me, more than 20 degrees Celsius, it's very, very hot. Hello, sunshine. Urbia, at 25 kilometers, is the flattest part of the race, and conditions are getting very hot. Oh. oh. Did you film it? <laughs> yeah. This is where we go. Wow, I can show me. Let me apart. My favorite part of the race is the last section because it's flat and very runnable. Five kilometers flat. Uh, after like 25 kilometers, it's, it's where I struggle because I I don't like flat running. Hello, happy. Hello, free. Hello, you and hello me. Hello, you and hello. Even elite runners suffer, and last year's winner, Remy Bonnet, drops out due to cramp. The runners are about to face the last and hardest climb of the race. Their bodies threaten to overheat as they run beneath an unforgiving sun. But they must push with only a few kilometers left before the finish. It's the first race of the season, and everybody wants to score points. Some are hungry for the victory and some want to make history by breaking the record. This is the last chance they have. Are they going to make it? Will Killian break the record? Will Bartolome get rid of Thibaut Baronian? Is Eliane going to stay in the lead? Or is she going to get caught by the Warriors, Elisa and Amandine? It all gets decided now. So, here we are at the finish line of Zagama. In a few minutes they will be here. Will Killian beat the record? have to wait another year for an assault on that record, but for the ninth time in his career, Kylian Jornet takes the win in Zagam. Bartolome takes second after an epic fight with Thibaut Baronian, who ends up taking third place and his first ever Golden Trail World Series podium. Incredible, very crazy. I was, I was in a very good shape today. And we ran together with, uh, with Bart until the three last kilometers. We pushing hard, we, we were helping together all the time and I did it. I'm so happy for him because last year he did so many four places and it was like every race he was fourth and fourth and fourth. And like coming to Zegama that is like the Graal. And, and finishing so strong, him and Bartolomeo, they were like racing together, racing very, very smart, and yeah, it's, I'm so, so happy for him. Okay, this is the revenge. <laughs> it's been an unbelievable performance from Eliane, running her first trail marathon ever and taking the win against the strongest competition in the world. An incredible moment.
deciding to come to Zagama at the last minute, Elisa Desco takes second position after a great race. Beaten by just eight seconds, Francis Amandine Ferrato gave it all and got her reward. This race is known for having the best crowds anywhere. And I've run um, this race in Boulder, Colorado, called the Boulder Boulder, where you finish in a football stadium full of 50,000 cheering fans. And Sanctus Spiritu today was louder and more intense, so the fans were even better than that race, which is very hard to compare. From the atmospheric perspective, that was one of the most incredible things I've ever done. When I run through the crowds, I forget the bib, I forget the race, forget everything. I'm so excited, like, we have a super fun time. And then pass through the crowd, like, oh, that wastes so much energy. I thought, okay, I need to try to run again. Are we gonna see you next year here? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, maybe part of my thoughts today was this is not the race for me. <laughs> and so, what's your next appointment uh, from the Golden Trail Series? Uh, Mont Blanc, so try, it's time to just leave this behind and like focus on the next one. And you know there's a party tonight. <laughs> yeah. I next question? I wasn't going to say that that was my next focus, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you tonight. <laughs> it has been an amazing day here in Sigama. Big competition, big fight, the level is super high. But this is just the start of the Golden Trail World Series. See you on the 30th of June in Mont Blanc Marathon. At last year's Mont Blanc Marathon, the second race of the Golden Trail World Series, Kylian Journet won with an emphatic confirmation that he was back from a broken leg. With injury behind him, he won the 42km race for the fifth time, though his own record, set in 2013, survived. In the women's race, Megan Kimmel of the USA led for most of the race, but collapsed with just 10 kilometers to go, allowing a fast-moving Ruth Croft to take the first place and seize the win ahead of Salomon athletes Eden Nielsen and Ellie Gordon. The win allowed Croft to climb the rankings, moving into second place and putting the pressure on Nielsen. Starting in the Valley of Chamonix and finishing in Plompra, the trail takes athletes deep into the valleys and over high summits on a spectacular discovery of the Mont Blanc range. More than just a marathon, the race is also part of a festival celebrating trail running in all its glory.